Just looking at these delicious bakery treats can make you hungry. But would you feel the same if you knew your cannoli was somehow different? Beginning Tuesday, that may be the case in New York City as a trans fat ban goes into effect. Bakers say they are trying to find substitutes for the artery clogging oil. It's going to affect us really big and everything because uh, we've been trying to experiment with the uh, zero trans fat and we find it that it has a tendency of changing the color of the product, changing the texture of the product. You don't have the same taste that you want there anymore. So, I mean, it's going to affect us in a big way. Chefs say it's the trans fat that makes their pie crust flaky, their crackers crispy, and their muffins moist. And then there's the bread. It'll change the color of the bread. It has a tendency of drying it out faster. And also, if you see like some loaves of bread and everything, they're nice and puffy. Now you're taking that out, it's going to look a little more flatter, the bread. Dunkin' Donuts got rid of trans fats last October, and at least one customer says the donuts are still yummy. In a donuts, no. I don't see nothing different change. Yeah, all the same. Health officials say the ban is necessary because trans fats seriously affect cardiovascular health. Besides, there is a demand for zero trans fat foods. Some bakers are excited about this um, because their customers want it. You know, and I think I think that's what we have to remember at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, there's some trouble involved. There's looking for new product. There's stocking new product. There's you know tinkering with recipes. But at the end of the day, this is a big health win. And along with that big health win. Fans of baked goods don't have to worry too much. Many of the city's bakeries say it's been a struggle to replace the trans fats, but after months of experimenting, a lot of those super sweet indulgences will still satisfy your sugar craving without sacrificing the flavor or texture you've come to know and love. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.